I Valax, portable apple juice. Hello again, it's been 24 hours since we charged my Apple Watch with I Valax, hang on, old man thing, with I Valax. There, there you go, can, can the camera focus on that? Anyway, it still says it has some charge, the little blue light. So let's see how much more juice we can get out of it. And that's really loud. So what I normally do is I check the battery life quickly on my phone using this widget. So it says iPhone 12 mini 61, Peter's Apple watch 52%. Or of course, you can just check on your watch. So yesterday we went from 41% up to 100%. And uh, before someone asks, I'll just answer it. This is the Remarkable tablet that I've been reviewing for going on eight months now. Uh, really, really thin, shameless pug up there in the right. And then it just wakes up. It's, it's a writing tablet. It's, it's awesome, electronic ink. One of my favorite devices that I've tested in the last year. And it's, it's tied with the Apple Watch, but the battery life is seven days longer. Anyway, so we'll just swipe to the right. Okay, slight error. It's actually almost been 24 hours. It was last charged yesterday at 1857 and it's now 1726. So let's see how much juice we can get out of here. Lovely, 51%, see you soon. Now, one thing I was really hoping with this iVelux device was that it could charge my watch multiple times. And yesterday it only charged at 59% and it completely drained. And if you saw in the video earlier, it does drain, it does drain really quickly from 100% down to 25. <laughs> I, I really thought the battery would be bigger inside the portable charger. I, I really needed it to charge my watch at least twice because I wanted something to take with me while hiking and camping. What are your thoughts? And it recently just turned off. So that means, oh, it's not dead, but it did shut down. So if we go down to settings, four minutes ago. So if it gets too low, the iVelux just shuts off. All right, we last left our little apple juice friend, iVelux, and it had one power dot. It's almost been another full 24 hours. It's almost 1700. Let's see if it will charge it. All right, put it into airplane mode, give it a fighting chance. It's at 13%. So the last time we charged it was last night at 1822. So it made it almost another full day. Here goes nothing, folks. Uh-oh, the blue dot is blinking. I think that means it's dead or it's about to die because that's what the other dots do. Yep, it's dead. Hold on a second, let me document this for posterity. I went back to day one, which was Monday. We had it at 41% and we charged it all the way up to 100. That did take two hours, so that went up 59%. And then yesterday we got another 23%. It went from 52 back up to 75. And then it fell down to 13 uh, over the last 24 hours. Okay, 22, 23 hours. 59 plus 23. Anyone? Anyone? That's correct. 82. Because this device had been kind of misplaced or just connected to my bag for, well, I didn't use it for a good week. Almost two weeks. Maybe some of the battery life went down, but the battery size in the Apple Watch is less than half the size of the iVelux. On Amazon, it states that this is a thousand milliamp battery. So one would think this could charge the Apple Watch twice. Not true. And I don't understand why not. So this is gonna go back and I'll see if iVelux comes out with another version 
that is better. Uh, the other reason I don't really like this one, well, I, I don't really like the dots, and it's strange how it drops from four blinking dots down to uh, one. It's also micro USB. It's not USB-C or lightning port. Really, if, if it was made for the Apple Watch and the Apple Watch adapter currently takes lightning or some charges would be USB-C, it's pretty lame that it's selling with micro USB in 2021. But maybe this is an old model. I, I don't know how to tell how long this has been on Amazon. So I'll take this off because this is for SanDisk. So there's the size and all the specs. It says it is compatible with this watch, but um, not really exactly what I need. I mean, granted, if you started fully charged, I guess we did make it another two days, so that's good. But it was really slow. I mean, waiting two hour, two and a half hours for it to charge from 41% up to 100, that's a long time to wait. So I'm gonna use the uh, OEM method, the Apple disc, with this 12 watt charger by Apple. And good thing, because we just got the power warning, 10%, that's not good. Put it in airplane mode so it'll charge real fast. And there we go. And then I'll quickly show you how fast it charges this way. And we're back and it's already at, oh, now it's at 35. So it's it charged in 18 minutes, 24%. That's 1.333% per minute. If we go back to the stats of the iVelux, it's uh, only charging at a rate of 0.433% per minute, or overall 0.396. So, if you do the math, it basically charges with the Apple OEM and a regular AC outlet at one whole battery percent faster, 300% faster. <laughs> so, yeah, is that, is that good math, 300%? Uh, I'll let my cousin uh, John correct me if I'm wrong but it's faster, a lot faster. Well, I'm gonna go for a bike ride and then I'll return this to the post office tomorrow and I'll give you my final thoughts when I'm back from my bike ride. All right, so hopefully that all made sense with my testing the iVelux. Basically, it comes down to five things. So here's the big summary if you skipped ahead. <sighs> Catch my breath. <laughs> I had to walk around, turn on lights. There's a bit of work to these videos. Anyway, so the big question, buy, yes or no? Let me give you my five reasons, then I'll tell you my opinion, yes or no. Number one, quality. I don't see this thing lasting an entire year. I feel most products should last at least a year when it comes to technology, especially smartwatches and laptops and your glasses, one year is the standard quality time frame. Number two, performance. It charges my Apple Watch too slowly. The Apple Watch 6, at least, the newer one, and also the Apple Watch SE was designed to charge more quickly. Well, this isn't that compatible with the Apple 6, in my opinion, even though it says Series 6 and SE right in the box. So, misrepresentation, perhaps. Number three, design. If I take off my watch, which I don't like to do. So there's the magnet, then it charges. But if I just slightly tilt it like that, well, it comes off. So now I kind of had to jostle it a bit, but I had this in the car and it slid off. Like it, it barely takes any pressure. Whereas when you're charging it with the magnet, which, so here's the OEM charging magnet. I mean, you really have to move it quite a bit for it to fall off. Number four, design. So the Apple Watch charger, the OEM charger is USB-A. All right. 
My iPhone is lightning port and everything else is USB-C. Hardly anything selling in 2021 is micro USB. Where is that mini? Anyway, it's that old port, this one. So here's USB-A, which is still quite old. I, I still can't believe the Apple 6 watch came with a USB-A port. This should have been USB-C Apple, please. Come on. Okay, sorry, digressing. And this is the port that it comes with. Lame. And number five, lastly, durability. A portable Apple Juice device needs to be able to charge your Apple Watch at least twice. It only charges it once. <sighs> yeah. The other thing that, and this isn't the Apple Juice iVelux fault, did you know that while you're charging your watch, it shuts down all health metrics? So buy yes or no, I would say no. I'm returning it. I'm gonna put it back in the box here. Click. And then I grab the charger, cable, well, the charging cable, roll that up like so. Here, let me switch views. There we go. So we put that in there. Coil this up. So basically, had this charged my watch more quickly and charged it at least twice, I probably would have kept it. Free, oh, customer, yeah, I'll keep that just in case. Put that back in there. And thank you, Amazon, for letting me try this product. I really did want to keep it, but yeah, it's it's going back. I think if you had a Series 3, you might like it better. Well, thank you so much for watching, and pithy comments, type those down below. And that was my full review of this iVelux portable Apple Watch charger. Let me know your thoughts. And yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. Goodbye.